All right, today we're going to, going to talk about plunge. All right, so if you have an independent rear suspension setup, you're gonna have CV axles and CV shafts. Now inside my bearing block is the end of that CV that allows the drive shaft to move in different directions as it's turning for that. You can see the balls and the little grooves that allows it to slide in and out. Now, plunge is where when you go through your suspension travel, your axle moves in and out along those races. Now that's something you have to adjust when you're building your own. And your limitations are this little, little ring in the front, you can see the ridge, a little snap ring goes in there to keep the axle from falling out if your CVs blow apart. Now on the other side, you don't want the other axle hitting together. Then it'll cause friction and it'll cause them to, to break and you might mess up your whole rear housing. So what determines plunge is where your axle rides between where your A-arms are mounted and the length of your A-arms. So what something I did is I made my A-arms adjustable. I put heim joints at all the inside connection points so that I could adjust camber. If I just moved the top arms, I could adjust the entire length of the A-arms for plunge. And I could adjust a little bit of toe. So we'll run it through the suspension travel and you can see I've adjusted mine so I, to where they have zero plunge. Now that's a full 12 inches of travel. And these axles aren't gonna interfere with each other. They're not gonna hit that retainer ring. Now if we take it super far, you can start to see where plunge happens. You see that moving in and out? That two top three inches of travel. Now something else I did to reduce plunge is I put my drive shafts at an angle. Instead of being perpendicular to that bearing block, I move them back. That greatly reduces plunge. and allows you to run more suspension, allows you different options for ride height. And I put this on a pivot for chain adjustment and for different gearing. So you just loosen it up, you move it forward, change your front sprocket and tighten it back up. And that's it, thanks for watching.